Hello everyone, my name is Paul Stamayoi, and we're back for another edition of Pokemon, of Paul Stamayoi's personal and best opinions on Pokemon. So for this edition, it will be about Krabby and Kingler, they have the both the same, if I can speak, my god, they have both the same exact moves, held item, and ability, I don't know what the heck I just said before. But anyways, get on the moves for both of them, for gold, silver, and crystal. First of all, Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer is 100 power, 90 accuracy, water physical type attack. And pretty much, uh, not only is that amazing power and accuracy, but it also has a bonus effect too. Pretty much makes it to where you have a higher critical hit chance. That means instead of a 1 in 16 chance to normally get a critical, it's actually 1 in 8 chance. So it's that even, it's even that much better. So anyway, then Stomp. Stomp is a 65 power, 100 accuracy, physical normal type move. And it has a 30% chance to flinch. Um, let me explain what the flinching uh, stats effect does. So pretty much a Pokemon can only get flinched if they are not the first ones or they're one of the last ones to go in turn. And um, pretty much what happens when you get flinched, you'll know when you like actually get flinched. It'll say you're flinched and can't move and then whatever move you're trying to do that turn <coughs> gets cancelled out. Sorry. Anyway, but it also has another effect. Um, I think only in the older generations it did. I don't think in the current generations it does. But when you stomp and apply plenty of other of uh, these type of moves uh, against the Pokemon that you minimize, it kind of makes sense to where it would do double the damage. So I guess that's something else to look forward to for those situations. But anyway, then Bubble. Bubble is a 20 power, 100 accuracy, special uh, water type attack. And it has a 10% chance to lower the speed of whoever you use it against. But it's one of the basic, actually. I'm pretty sure the most basic of all water type moves, so yeah. And then Guillotine. Guillotine is a 30 accuracy, um, zero power. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's physical because it even makes, sounds like a contact move. Physical, normal type move. And pretty much what this does, the reason why it's just like on here is because I might as well just have this. It's pretty much a, a move called a one hit kill move to where if it lands, it'll instantly kill whoever you go up against, unless they have like a Focus Sash or an ability that lets them live on one health when they're at full health, and no, it wouldn't one-shot them, but other than that, it has horrible accuracy, but <laughs> you might as well have it just in case the risk take your luck to like one-shot a Pokemon, because like I said, it has 30 accuracy. Um, normally, well actually, it says zero accuracy, like it says infinite accuracy, but it actually, depending on how much higher level you are than the uh, one you're using it against, like if you're up to 30 levels higher, the most they can get is 30 accuracy. So um, when you're the same level, it's pretty much like, I guess that would be, no, because it has a chance to hit. So, hmm. Because I know it doesn't work when there's, when you use it against a Pokemon that's a higher level than you. It doesn't work at all moves like that. So you would have to definitely look more into that. But anyway, let me scroll over to this. For Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Red, and Leaf Green, the only thing different here is instead of um, Bubble, you actually want Mudshot. Mudshot is a 55-powered 55, 55 90, I think it's 95 or 90 accuracy. I'm pretty sure it's 95. It's 90 or 95 accuracy. You can look it up. But anyway, Special Ground-type attack, and this has a 10% chance to lower the uh, speed, or maybe 30%. Actually, it's 10 or 30% chance to lower the speed of whoever you use it against, so yeah. Um, by one, I mean. It was just, that's the same with bubbles as well. Only by one. Uh, but anyways, then for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, Black, White, Black, T, White, T, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. So the only thing that's different here um, is actually just Metal Claw. So Metal Claw is, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is a 55 power. I think Mudshot is as well. You'd have to definitely look these up to guarantee those. That is actually those stats, but they're just good moves either way. It's like that's why I put them here. But anyways, a 55 power, 95 accuracy, physical steel type move, and this actually has a, I believe it's yeah, it's a 10% chance to raise the attack your own attack stat by one. So that'll be really helpful. Um, so yeah. And then for let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, um, the only thing different here is instead of uh, Metal Claw and Mud Shot, since they are in this game. Um, I just have Bubble Beam and Guillotine, uh, Guillotine again. What Bubble Beam does is just pretty much, as it says, an upgrade from Bubble pretty much being Bubble Beam. It actually does 65 power, 100 accuracy, special water type move. 
And I believe instead of a 10% chance, or maybe it's still a 10% chance, it's either a 10 or 30% chance to lower the speed of whoever you sit against by one. So yeah. And then the held item, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. They have different names. In the older generation, it's called a Pink Bow, and then in the current generation, it's called Silk Scarf, but they both raise the power of normal type moves by 10%, so yeah. Anyway, then for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. For offline, you want to have the Life Orb. Now, what the Life Orb does, the one who's holding this, the power of the physical and special type attack, get boosted by 30%, but every time you do damage, you take a bit of damage to yourself as well, so you'll uh, be doing a lot more damage, but you'll be doing some damage from your own attacks as well. And then for online, the rule about online is that, um, that when you use a held item in an online battle, you get, when it gets used up, uh, you get it right after the online battle, so it's pretty nice, especially for items like the Focus Sash, um, to where it's really hard to grind for offline, it's just annoying to have to grind for things over again if you don't have to. So, anyway, what the Focus Sash does is when a Pokemon holds this item and they're full health and they would have got one shot, they'll always live at one health. So, as long as you don't get flinched, paralyzed, po uh, not poisoned, paralyzed, frozen, asleep, or just miss your move, you always get one move off. So, it's very good to, like, prevent from getting sweeped. So, it's an awesome thing. And then for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, it's the same item online. Um, but for offline, you actually want the ground DMZ, and this is mainly just to power up that mud shot. So, yeah. And then, um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee do not have any hell items. Um, and then the ability. So I chose the hidden ability, but I'll explain the other two abilities first. So there is, first of all, Hyper Cutter. Hyper Cutter makes it to where you won't uh, lose any of your physical attack stat. You can't, because every time when something tries to lower your attack, um, it will activate. And it'll say Hyper Cutter uh, prevents your attack from being lowered. And then Shell Armor. Shell Armor makes it pretty much uh, where the one with Shell Armor, they can't take critical hits. Like, they can't get critical hitted. So, it's pretty nice. But Sheer Force is the one you want for both of them, for sure. Because what this does, uh, and it's a hidden ability, like I said, it actually removes the additional effects of moves on your Pokemon and boosts the power of that move by, like, 30%, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, that's amazing, because all of... Um, the, uh, all of Crab and Kingler's abilities, uh, I mean moves, like, uh, like I was saying, Crab Hammer, uh, Mud Shot, Metal Claw, and Stomp, they all have additional effects. So that would actually get rid of those effects, but it would boost the power, which is way better, because why not have more power, um, instead of just having a chance of sometimes the effect when you can always have guaranteed power, so why not? So anyway, that's pretty sweet in my opinion. And actually, that's my, um... My Soul Pokemon uh, Nido King's hidden ability that I would recommend for that set as well, which I already did that a while ago with this uh, one of these episodes. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, that's it for the video. So if you enjoyed, if you'd be so kind to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, and feel free to. Link is in the description down below. But anyways, I've been your host, Ponce the Mayui, and goodbye.